What's up, guys? Wow, take a seat, take a seat. Right Happy VidCon, day three. You guys already know this? Wow, I'll, I'll give them a minute. Get it out of your system now, go ahead, go ahead. Ah. Woo! Yeah. You guys already know this, but I'm here with Zach Clayton and Danny Perkins. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. We are at um, the instant stage. It's a pool party. If you weren't, uh, you know, we got lots of floats. We got the screen. We got the big screen. Hey. <laughs> right? It's, like, kind of intimidating. I noticed one day that, like, you can see, ev like, if your makeup's off, you can see. Low key, have, I can see everything. Yeah. It's pretty, it's cool. pretty personal. Up close and personal, for sure. So. Um, how has your VidCon been so far this year? Is this your for anyone's first VidCon? I want to count this as my first VidCon because last year was kind of weird for me. Like I didn't really like, I did like one thing, but like this year I was like actually doing a lot of stuff. So I feel like this is my first official VidCon. A lot of people have been saying that. Yeah. So how does that feel to be just like, just thrown into the craziness? I like it. I like being busy and I like doing stuff. So this is definitely something like I love it. Yeah. Doing stuff all the time is great. For I sure, agree. what about you? I like to do stuff, you know? Like, um, this is probably, well, this is my third one, but the first one, it was like, I was really like, you know, like I wasn't doing much, so I don't really count it. I was more there just to be there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, these last two years I've been here, and it's just like all day long from like 9 o'clock in the morning to like 3 o'clock just oh working. But I don't gosh. mind it, you know, it's fun, so. What has been the craziest moment you've had? <laughs> um, <laughs> or maybe <laughs> the craziest thing you've seen, even? Oh, the craziest thing I saw was yesterday, Logan Paul or somebody yeah, getting mobbed. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh they my god! All Team Ten. Like, is that him now? Like, what's going on Someone over there? there. <laughs> Y'all good? Um, but yeah, no, I I couldn't be out there. But like, I was watching Snapchats and like everybody was posting it, and it was just I like saw a that car, too. like in a van, and not like a car, and they were just going in like like. 400 people like just running after that one car and people uh, were in the water fountain they were like literally getting drenched oh my yeah. gosh like anything for i feel like at that point they just want to be in his vlogs i mean like, i would too to get their it's, face I mean, in there. Like, it's him i'm not oh, gonna yeah. lie i try to say i do i do too that's totally not have you guys been outside at all on the floor i have I can't. <laughs> if I do, it'd, be a, it'd right. be a mess. I feel. I heard last night that they, after hours, kind of opened it up for people to. Yeah, for the future. Yeah, future creators. I think. The, or yeah, yeah. I think. Did so. you go? I did not. I wanted Aww. to, but I don't know where we were. I think we we're eating, but I wanted to go. Yeah, food is very important. I haven't talked about this to too many people, but the food here. What are? I just feel like, can you even eat? There's like no time to eat. There's no place to get food. The lines yeah, are crazy. I we were just talking about that. We forget to eat all the time. Oh my it'll, gosh. Well, it'll be like seven o'clock at night, and, and I'm like, oh, we, we have didn't not eat anything. one thing today. What is going on? Yeah, I don't but know yesterday why. Yesterday we ate though. We had we, we had Red today. Robin. Yeah. Yeah. What? We went to Red, Red Robin. Robin. Ooh, so we did eat a little yeah. bit. But yeah, yeah, other than that, we Macaroni. don't eat too much throughout the day. No. Because yeah. we're like, because we're like. When, once I like once I'm like out of my hotel room because I'm at the Hyatt like a mile away. Like once I'm here, I gotta have to stay here because I can't go back and forth since I have stuff like all day. So I'm kind of just like trapped here all day. In Dude, the back. are you going back there tonight? Because now everyone's gonna mob you. They know where you are. Oh, I did just say that too loud, huh? <laughs> no, people stay out there because oh. David. Yeah. 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 Yesterday we were out there, and then there's like the David stands. Yeah. I saw. Oh, I saw David. Oh my God. David. <laughs> Dobrik. Dobrik. David Dobrik. Yeah, he's been. I know, I know, yeah. Do you guys like David you know Dobrik? Saying? Yes. I've seen him wandering around, too. I think he had, like, a meet and greet yesterday. I've been also watching everyone's Snapchats. I've been watching your Snapchat, whatever. Like, hey. There's so many, so many things happening. But it's it's almost over, which is pretty sad. But I know, right? Isn't tomorrow, yeah. like, is today or tomorrow? No, today's the last day, right? Today's my last day. I don't know. I think I we leave tomorrow, doing. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. But, you know, it's been fun. It's been crazy. Really good opportunity for you guys to, like, you know, meet everyone, um, get a chance to talk about the cool stuff you're doing. So I kind of thought we should do that now because you both have some pretty cool stuff coming up to talk about. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? So, Zach, speaking of just seeing fans everywhere, you have the opportunity to see a bunch of your fans this summer, right? I do. Um, oh, hi. Oh, I love you. Hi. Oh, hello. Hey. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I love to meet my supporters a lot. I had a meet and greet yesterday, actually, which was uh. very fun. Were y'all there? Yeah, all right? Wow. But yeah, no, um, I had a meet and greet yesterday, which was dope. Um, it was fun. And then yeah, on 
it's this summer. I'm going back on tour. I'm going with Johnny Orlando on his day and night tour. I'm doing two of those shows. Are any of you guys going to those? No? Yeah, raise you your hand ready? if you're going. Oh, there but you yeah, are. There's two shows I'm going to do on the day and night tour, and then I'm also joining the Boys of Summer with, like, Mark Thomas, Blake Gray, and, like, a lot of other cool people. Um, oh I'm doing, like, gosh. four shows for that. And then August is when the Nothing But Love tour comes back. Like, we already did one run. We did, like, one run of, like, four shows, and now we're going to do another run of, like, 15 in August. 15 shows? Are you excited? Are you nervous? Like, what's your favorite part about going on tour? Performing. Obviously, meeting the supporters. That, too. Obviously, I love to meet you guys. But performing at the same time, I love to perform and just, like, how energetic and, like, fun it is. Like, it's a good time. Yeah. I mean... I feel like it's VidCon times a hundred. You're just, oh yeah, it's and so it's also exhausting. like you know my like show, and it's like crazy to see how yeah. many people show up, and I'm just like, let's do this. Oh my gosh, that's so insane. But Danny, let's. I feel like I have to. We're just gonna bounce back and forth between the two of you because okay. you have different things going <laughs> on. So, um, Danny, we were talking backstage about. Feel free if you guys want. Yeah. Just like. It's, these these, oh, are, these are your play things for now. Like, they're yours. Um, so we were talking a little bit about acting backstage. Is acting something that you've always had a passion for? Um, I Well, I actually used to be, like, a super, super shy kid. Like, I wasn't, like, into, like, being in front of a camera or anything. But, like, I started musical theater, and it kind of, like, loosened me up. And um, so after that, I just, like, asked my mom if I wanted to, like, I said, hey, can I start acting? And she said, uh, yeah, you want to give it a go? And I was like, yeah. So I just kind of like jumped into it randomly. And it kind of just like took off, and I love it. It's like my passion, and it's what I want to do for like, oh. the rest of my life. I mean, sometimes you just got to, you're just like, it clicks in your head like, oh, acting. Yeah, right? I don't know. It's just so much fun to like, you could be someone else like, and just like act in the moment. And I like live for that. I love it so much. Can we expect to see you on the any screens anytime soon? Uh, yeah, my Nickelodeon show just got picked up for 20 episodes. We start production oh my in God. October. Yeah, yeah so I'm. I'm gonna, gonna watch it. Well, yeah, you better. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I start production for that. It's called Night Squad. Um, I'm really excited about that, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. And I'm also doing a couple other projects. I can't say much right now, but when I can share, you you best it's, know I will be sharing. It's going to be lit, is, is what she's trying to say. TV, you guys, it's a mystery. You have to keep, yep. keep checking in for that one. But, okay, let's bounce back again to Zach. Bounce, 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 bounce. Bounce um, back like Sean said. <laughs> <laughs> so... It was recently your birthday. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Yeah. I'm First getting of all, old. I'm sure you guys celebrated together. What did you guys do? Um, so, like, the day of my birthday was a very, like, kind of busy day, like, because, like, all of, like, VidCon. But, uh, so the day before was, like, registration day. So we went to a bowling alley, and um, I think about, like, 30 people came, and then we were just, like, had cake and just bowled and just had a Who's good time. Who's better at bowling? Me. <laughs> Him. I suck at bowling. <laughs> no, it's so bad. I go, like, and everything. She does it's the granny like, shot. I can't do it. They're just either too heavy or I just like kind of toss it. I do that too, but sometimes whenever I do that, it just like goes straight into the gutter. I need like the bumpers on the side, honestly. I got close That's... to a strike, but then kind of just like, it literally went straight down the middle, then just curved last second. I was so upset. Well, practice makes perfect, right? You just got to keep bowling. But I'm a professional. You know what I'm <laughs> Oh my gosh. Do you do like the leg pop thing? Oh, I'll do everything. I gotta like stretch my arms out before I go and yeah, like I get into it. I'm actually, no, I'm lying. I'm really bad. I think like when I played, the, for the first three turns, I got like gutters both times, like six gutters in a row. It you was have to warm up and then, you know, you yeah. just. Yeah, you, you gotta get used to the court, like the, the angling and, mm -hmm. you know, you gotta get used you to You gotta get into the zone for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. But besides bowling, you launched your Thirst Project campaign as I did. well. So why don't you tell us about that and tell people why they should, should give? Well, I've always, well, not always, but, like, I've always thought, like, water, okay, sorry. I've always thought water is, like, just honestly really important, which it is. It's always important to be hydrated, and I drink water all the time. And there's, like, so many people that don't have any access to water, which, like, it sucks because, like, water is so important to live and stuff. So I partnered up with the Thirst Project to do a campaign. We're going to try to raise two wells of water, and, um... Yeah, we're just like doing donations like throughout the fans and I'm also giving back to the fans for donating. Like if they donate a certain amount, like I'm gonna be flying people out to LA to go to a trampoline park. I'm giving out like t shirts what? that like are, are you only guys for this? this. So yeah, it's just to give back for the people that are giving. Hey, you know what uh, so yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, and hopefully at the end of all this you guys will be able to 
build two two wells. Yes, that's that the goal. I love seeing people who do this. I love the Thirst Project. Um, I think that's super cool. Congratulations to both of you. Um, Thank, you. Thank you. Yeah, right? Um, so now we can move on to questions you both can answer. So this will be fun. Um, I was wondering, let's talk about Musical.ly for a hot second. You're both on Musical.ly. What are like your biggest tips for people um, who are new to the app? They can be like, like, tra like transition tips, whatever, whatever you got. Oh, I would say if you're new to Musical.ly, um, do the trending hashtags and trending songs because that's a good way to always get like noticed on all of them. I would say that. Um, I would say be sure you know the words. I've seen a oh, lot yeah, of Musical.ly so people will do it, but they don't know the words. So it's like, oh, well, sometimes I do it. I'm not going to lie, but I'm just <laughs> saying sometimes they won't. But um, I would recommend using the hashtags. Like if you're new, the hashtags are really helpful. And also like the song chart. I like to go through the song chart and like the first 20 things that are in there, I like to use those because like it's on there because so many people are using it. So if you use it as well, it like it helps you. And when you guys, when you joined, did you did you think like something would come of it? Did you think you'd gain like all these followers? No. No, that was really like my first social media thing and my sister found it. So I just kind of like did it with her. Yeah, yeah. And then we got featured on our first dance. And then from there we kind of got it, the ball started Picked rolling. Up. What about you? Yeah, I got like randomly kind of thrown into social media. Like, mine like started from live streaming, and then like I was just broadcast. I was gonna broadcast just for my friends. Like, I wasn't meant. Like, I didn't know you could be famous. Yeah, I didn't know that. that's what people say. Like, you know, like when people are like, he's social media famous. Like, what's that? You know, like I was just like that. I didn't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. And then I was gonna broadcast to my friends, and then I ended up broadcasting to like you know supporters and stuff. So that's amazing. I hear that story all the time. Like back in the day when. YouTube started in like 2007. I think Tyler Oakley was telling us that same thing, like he was making videos like for his friends in college so that they can keep up. And now it's just like, you wouldn't even think to make a music video or I'm sorry, a, a YouTube video for your friends like that. And it just like becomes this whole another beast. I mean, I couldn't imagine knowing so many people were watching yeah. my videos all the time. Yeah, it was <laughs> really nice. random. Yeah. so. Who is your all-time favorite person to collab with? You guys know Nick? Nick Bean? My boy, Nick Bean! Hey! Yeah, no, uh, Nick, his name is Nick Bean. He's, like, one of the people I started social media with. Like, we literally met each other within the first week of us actually, like, starting to, you know, get, like, on social media. Like, because one time I was broadcasting, and he was in third place, and I was in fir first place, and he said to his viewers to come to my broadcast and say, Nick Bean's coming for first place. And then I got mad at him. I was like, no, you're <laughs> not. This is like, I'm here, no. Um, and then yeah, he DM'd me on Instagram, then we got we became friends and been wow, best friends since. Wow, what a great since. meeting story. Yeah, it's been forever. Yeah. Too long. Um, what about, what do you think is the hardest part about coming up with new content all the time? We're gonna have we're gonna have a quick we're gonna have a meeting real quick. Okay. Um, can you repeat the question one more time? The hardest part about coming up with new content. Honestly, I would say YouTube sometimes is very hard. Like, because you want to keep things interesting yeah. and you don't want to yeah. do the same thing over again. So like, you always have to think of what else you can do to stay entertaining and like. Just, you know, keep it fresh and new. Yeah, because, like, after you do it, like, one or two times, it's kind of just like, eh, all right. Like, we saw it, and now, like, let's yeah, do something right. new. So it's always, it is sometimes hard to, like, always think of something new to do. But, I mean, but it, it, you, it comes, comes to us. It, yeah, comes. Just, it like, just it comes just, to like, you eventually. Yeah. it takes a second. You just got to sit yeah, back, yeah. and then, you know, like, oh, that, yeah, all right. I've, I've heard a lot of people say it comes to them, like, either in the shower or in the car, which is the two moments when you can't write it down or, like, do anything about it, so. Mine comes at nighttime. I don't know why, but, like, at night, like, I always just, like, think and like that's when all my ideas I feel like I'm smarter at night is that just me <laughs> Do you guys think you're like all right that's weird. smarter at night I don't know I feel like that's creative Zach comes that's out at night yeah just come creative. out at night um what about who do you, who would you say is the f like coolest person you guys have met through your job <gasps> coolest person <laughs> no you go no you can go I oh you go 
It's each other. It's it's each other, isn't it? The cool wait, the coolest person Pretty cool. I've met. Yeah. Uh, David Dobrik. David, David, yeah, David Dobrik. David Dobrik, David yes. Dobrik and Liza. They're like amazing. Yesterday oh I had a fanboy moment oh, in the elevator. So, funny. Oh my God, so I can't. you know like on the elevator sometimes there's like the mirror in like the very yes, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I was chilling and I was looking at myself in the mirror, making sure my hair was all right. Of course. And then the elevator door opens and Heath walks in from the vlogs and I was just I I literally gasped <laughs> out loud. Like this, he was like <gasps> Oh my God. And then he like, I think he like heard me and then he looked at me, he was like, hey, and I was like, hi. <laughs> and then yeah, after that I didn't talk, I was scared. Oh my God, but wait, you said you met David and Liza too? Yeah, I met David and Liza. What? I tell me, tell me, tell me, I, I love them, so. Okay, yeah, no, um, well, I was at this event and I met David and we just started talking and we were talking about my sister and then how she was like, I don't know what was going on, but I was like, oh yeah, she's a little troublemaker. So now he is nicknamed for my sister, like troublemaker. And then Liza, I met her and yeah, I love her. <laughs> She's the nicest. I haven't met her yet, but I she saw her sweet. in the She's hotel. She's so tiny. And the first time I saw her, she wasn't her. She was her. Oh my gosh. Well, her, uh, yes. Yeah, her. I what is the name? Jet. What yes. are y'all saying? Jet. 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 I yeah. thought you were saying Jeff. I saw I those like, Snapchats what? too. <laughs> that was Jeff. hilarious. Um, I'm glad we all like fangirl over the same people. I think yeah. I was in like one of Scotty's Snapchats like during this VidCon thing, and I was like, oh, my God. I would have been like, hey. It's crazy, yeah. So as if we didn't already know each other too well at this point, um, we have a TMI jar, which is going to get real personal, real oh. real personal oh. up in here. So, so we just, like, we go whoever, for Whoever, who wants to go first? You, go, you, do, I'll do, I'll do. you got to answer the questions. Is it like no we answer together or just like one at a time? What are three thi what three things would you bring to a desert deserted island? I almost <laughs> okay. Um, to her. Hey, yeah. So water. cute. <laughs> Some water. Water is important. No, because uh, no, no. You house. you can bring my house. How, would that work? Can you I said do that? Any three things. I if I could bring my house, I'll bring my house. You still have Wi-Fi. I, if I bring the house, I have a lot of other stuff. You know, I have Wi-Fi. You, wi you hacked the question. I guess you can bring a house. And you can, like, <laughs> already be in the house. So that, like, already, that count. All right. Um, and then m my phone, obviously, so I can Snapchat yeah. and stuff. <laughs> but without a charger. Or oh, you're right. A charger. <laughs> no, but that's too many things. I then. know. Uh, it's hard. You'll have your phone for, like, three uh, hours, and then it'll die. <laughs> oh, my turn? Okay. Uh, Go ahead. Who was my first crush? Um, mm, okay. Well, <laughs> we talked I about this. <laughs> <laughs> I consider my first crush to be like Harry Styles, but then like hey. the first time I remember actually liking someone, I was in like kindergarten, and his name was William. But then he started dating these twins <gasps> instead, so I was like, wait, okay, wait, wait, William, wait, 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 okay. Wait. This what a kindergartner player. named William dated twins? Yes, and they were my friends. That was the worst part. Oh my god, did they know you liked him? I don't know. We played cars I together. Guess, I guess I guess when sure. you're like, you know, you're six, it doesn't really matter that much, but yeah, true, true. I'm sorry that <laughs> happened. It sounds traumatizing. But you know, you're here now, so Yeah. Zach. <laughs> All right, here we go. Would you rather date someone ten years older or ten years younger? Oh my God. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my God. Like from the age I am right now? Yeah. Oh, oh I am. Oh, that's I rough, actually. Yeah, because I don't <laughs> think I would date a seven year old. So, um. Let's go with neither. I don't think that'd be right. I don't think that's. Um, I'd have to probably say 10 years older. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but I'm dating. I'm dating. Okay. <laughs> I know it's irrelevant anyway. You're all set. I grabbed two. Oh, you have to do two. Have you ever had a supernatural experience? Yes, my Does that mean like haunted. superheroes? <laughs> <laughs> like ghost stuff. And oh, like, no, I don't mess with ghost yes, stuff. Tell yes, us. my house is haunted. My okay, so like there's this one room, like it's not it's like it's really awkward because it's like all the rooms are like in the other side of the house and there's just one room that's way back here. And so if you go in there at night, like I swear something's in that room. Like I walk in and I hear stuff and I'm like, yo, I'm out, deuces. <gasps> no I way. Can't. No, Have you I don't seen know what things, happened. Though? And it was a, it was like a build on to the house, so I'm pretty sure like some something was happening there before oh we moved. Yeah, I can't I can't go over to your house now. I was gonna, like I've never been, I was gonna come over, but I don't I don't think I can go. That would I'm not, scare me, right? That's not my mm mm. Oh, I got mine. All right. 
Oh, that's a big word. Are you superstitious about anything? Um. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> Wait, hold on, guys. I love how Danny knows, but Zach doesn't even know. Oh, it's so like if I believe in that? Yeah. Oh yeah, so like, like if you think black, black hats are bad luck. Okay, I, sorry, I was really, I didn't, I was making sure I understood this. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, kind of. I, I, we, oh yeah, me I and am, her. Yeah, so okay, we, yes. it, yeah, it just, I don't know how it happened, but like we both called it out one day, and like it, ever since then, it's been a thing. But like, we don't like to split things. Like if you split like a pole like or something, and, and you like, like yeah, go, like, like, like pole, you all like have you split to split yeah. it. We don't do that. We have to you go, go on the same, same side. side. Yeah, yeah, like sometimes like one of us will almost go and like we'll like yank each other. Like don't don't you do it because it's like bad luck. So. Oh, I've seen, I've heard stepping on cracks is also bad luck in the it side. Breaks your mom's I mean, back. I tried that, but I was like, oh, that's impossible. I know no, you I have to think too way. hard. It's too much effort. There's a lot of cracks in this earth everywhere. So many everywhere everywhere. All right, are we doing one more? Yeah. Here we go. Last one. What's your biggest fear? Oh. You know what? I uh. dislike spiders with a passion. No. Oh, same. <laughs> Snakes. Oh. Both of them. Both of them. Oh, my God. They're just like, I look at them, and it literally scares. Like, uh, I have nightmares after. Like, I, it's so bad. Oh, yeah. I hate them. Uh, I just don't like bugs that fly. Like, the tiny ones that fly in my face, I run. Same. Like, yesterday I ran, and I think it was a fly. But I just like ran. I get so scared. The worst is when it it flies right next to your hear, your ear and you hear yeah, the buzz it's and you're like, gross. I don't like it's it. It's so horrible. It's the worst. But thank you for answering such deep questions and letting me put you guys on the spot. And thank you so much for joining us today. I had so much fun with you guys. Thank you for having us. You know what thank I'm saying? Thank you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Oh, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Come on. Later, home. <laughs>